Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you're on GFL TV, the home of football. So if today are the first time we really see our program for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news update that's the drop all over the world. So for now, most out of this news. Alright, so Dimitri Babato will be the former Manchester United player, former sports player who is now a football pundit. Got a talk say leaving the MRA Stadium with a point won't be bad for Manchester United because in the look, the fact say my you know they very very good away from home. And this is it, they are struggling a bit. And when you meet a team that has very very great firepower, like Arsenal, get especially when maybe Gabriel Su starts, yes, when you see those kind of things, so in the expect an exciting match, and they see Arsenal winning, but uh, if Manchester United still see draw like 2-2. So you know go too bad and at the same time they want to see Havertz playing in a big game like this because it doesn't have to know how to play big big game so you want to see how the guy will play make it see that the guy will bring in a game into this match so now what's in the see so some people will just maybe because in the affiliated to Manchester United he wants us to play a Kai Havertz so that Arsenal midfield they somehow weaken so everybody get their own mindset get, get their own perception on how it will be but so far so good for Babatov to even they concede, see, a point will be better for Manchester United. It shows you understand that Arsenal get this home advantage for this place, and it always work for Arsenal against Manchester United in recent times. So this game is going to be end-to-end -end stuff. Looks like ten men behind the ball is going to be very important. And as I the same, Arsenal will have the bulk or the lion's share of the ball possession because Manchester United are not really a ball possession type of uh, side. They, they are on that direct split. The whole ball, they run at you, back, 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 counter attack, boom, boom. Before you know, they don't post net. So, we'll just see how it's going to go All right, so away from that, so we're going to see Arsenal are favorites get for the match against Manchester United. But it's simply say, favorites don't always win games. So, now what's in Van Persie? The talk say the way they see them say Arsenal the favorites, but favorites know they always win the games and say if Arsenal just like what team Babato say the talk say if Arsenal start the Brazilians, but him he can differ in Havertz. Say if Arsenal sign uh, starts the Brazilians, come bench Kai Havertz. Say they see Arsenal winning the game. So now the way when they see Arsenal will win two one in the starts the Brazilians and bench Havertz. So now the way in the see and when you look at it, it's not a bad thing. But some people they argue say. Why we will start the Brazilians? Why not start Edikatia with the very very good at home, especially when we are playing at the Emirates? He has this record against my teams at the Emirates and scoring against Manchester United is not a new thing for him. Especially now we say Varane even did it, and only maybe Todibo or maybe they won't use Johnny Evans or maybe they won't with uh, the Butcher, maybe the Zagro Martinez. So all in all, we will see maybe Edikatia has a fair like our opportunity to hit the ball and put it at the back of the net but now that I get the final say so what do not think about what even person they talk say if we start the releases bench Havertz Arsenal will win what do not think all right so away from that so Brighton they played Newcastle yesterday 3-0 now in the match and so the match eh, it is very very surprising because Ivan Ferguson scored a hat trick for that match and you know, so after they also watched the match, I was like, this small boy, even at like 19 20, he scored a hat trick like they destroyed Newcastle United. Newcastle, this is maybe in our last season where they just enjoy themselves. This is a new season. In short, Newcastle are even stronger this season compared to last season. And see, for their first, how many games that should be Liverpool don't knock them, uh, who knock them again, uh, Manchester City knock them, then this one, I don't knock them now. It gets for how many games they don't play. So, you know, they very, very easy. <laughs> For this Newcastle United, this is these are people that had arguably one of the best defense last season. Look at this season now; they only chop and back to back the collect. So that is how difficult the league is. That's why we are saying this season is going to be very, very tough. People don't understand. You see this Newcastle? If they ever see fifth, we then thank God because I and may wait the Champions League starts. Where they will play like now this September, now, like September twenty or thereabouts. Where they will play like every three, four days. Something they are not used to. Yes. Then they will come the rest players, injuries, time fatigue. You will come understand why the EPL is the EPL. You know easy. And apart from that, sir, I'm going to look this bright. See this Ferguson with the bus net now. 
wait to make this end. Yes, you go hear Tony Bloom, the president, go come the talk, say 120 million for anybody who wants to sign this, but because the usual customers always can ask now, Man City, Chelsea, they will be coming for this Ivan Ferguson because ask now, go another yes, ask now, don't the ID guy for a long time, yeah, but we just go watch everything unfold. Alright, so what do you hear from the Ghana FA? Whether they talk say Thomas Party don't they injured because according to the Ghana FA, Arsenal tell them say Party gets injury, groin injury that is sustained on Thursday in training. And for that reason, the club physios, the medical department are saying Party will be out for some months, like some people say three months, some people say six weeks, we we'll never really know. But the Coco be say, ask not tell you, say, party no well. So much as to watch how everything go unfold because all staff fans know really, they have like, why is it that when we really need party, when it matter most, now nah, this guy, they did miss missing. When they talk to him, could sell party and I buy a replacement, many people call it complain. But look at it now, when we need him the most, the guy will come, they found one thing, yes. But now we stand up, still have the likes of Jorginho to come in, still have the likes of Declan Rice, because so at least we still get, we still get the capable hands anyway. Alright, so Martin Kion, the Ottoman side, called the tip Fabio Vieira to start ahead of Kai Havertz because what also when Fabio Vieira came in in the last match, he was like a different animal because this is the same player so many people said was not good enough last season, but this season is performing wonders. So for that reason, him the tip the guys make Ateta start him ahead of Kai Havertz so that we could see what he will bring to the top. Make it not be like say that will just give us now just a sample of nothing. So if he will replicate that magic when do come and give us his cost penalty, do overhead kick, almost score the winning goal, like all those things. These are things the Arsenal fans are happy to see. That's why they pay their money to come and enjoy games. So most of the watchers that Ateta will select them. Alright, so Arsenal versus Manchester United, the match review. So today I asked to host my you for the Emirates Stadium. So make a carry and go through the last five games who don't play for the Emirates Stadium. So for the last five games, Arsenal win four and draw one. Then, in fact, last season, Arsenal actually beat this Manchester United 3-2. And when you check the last six games, so we don't even play the last six or seven. Uh, Man, you never win us. So this is like going to be the like Man, you try. Me, let's see whether they will fit. Call your point. And this is why people like Baba talk. They talk. Say even Man, you see like draw for this match. It will make sense for them because in previous times they don't come and they always collect. So records are meant to be broken. In as much as records are still meant to be kept. So Arsenal we were hoping to keep the same record and extend it. While Manchester United will look so almost today now today we need to break the jinx. Yes, we need to scatter this record and smash it and make sure we collect maximum points at the Emirates Stadium. So more just to watch how everything will end. I expect Arsenal to create chances after chances because number one, Saka will play against Sergio Regulion, who is not really good. He's, a, he's a, like a, a castaway from Tottenham Hotspur. So my Manchester United will get choice. Their first and second choice, uh, left back, not injured. Tyra Malasia, Luke Shaw. So now they're looking at playing this Sergio Regulion. Even though their first choice player would have like to buy in a Kukurela, but that one not really work out for them. So Saka is going to play this guy 1v1. So we'll see what will happen on the right flank then Martinelli side. So there are a lot of individual battles that will be seen. But my will say we go create chances. I concur to that. But we make, we make sure so we bury all the chances. At least we create 10 chances, bury like even if you bury six, I will be happy because we are a chance creation side. They create chance. Now to put them at the back of the net and be our major problem. Alright, so I thought I quite come aside for media says whether they ask him about this Manchester United match. So Baba Kalito said the match is going to be very, very important for both sides. Everybody won't advance, everybody will find three points. Manchester City is only for the top of the league, don't they give everybody gaps. So nobody won't really lose or drop any points. When they maintain the momentum, they they very very close to them because you get the kind of gap that will give everybody now before you will catch them again. We'll do like this. So you need to be very, very close with them. So that's why we say we fight for maximum points. Yeah, three points. And this might get the propensity of delivering plenty, plenty goals. It's always interesting and exciting to watch. So we'll just wait and see how the match will unfold. Away from that, so Paul Messing, Kokoma Sakari does say Arsenal will be too much for Manchester United. See, one thing we did very, very key. Now be this home advantage is going to be key. He gets for this Arsenal, Arsenal will beat them since we are at home. That's where we're in this year. 
At the same time, I'm not going to talk about Gabriel Mugales. See, you don't expect to see Gabriel Mugales, but if you know see him, you go know say there is more to Gabriel Mugales' omission from Arsenal lineup. So forget all those tactics that they talk. Say you try tactics because of the opposition. If Gabriel Mugales don't play, then there is more to it than these tactical reasons. When they give us something is going down that is not in the public domain, it's only known to those in the dressing room and the hierarchy at the Emirates Stadium. So we we'll just watch. All eyes are on to this lineup. You know, we'll see what Ateta will put out. At the same time, so Ateta can just say for those who the crisis, they know they get playing time and all that. Say September is going to be very, very different because from September we we'll start the championship, so we we'll start the the routine of playing every three, four days. So everybody will play the will rotation. So August was very limited because we're playing maybe once in eight days or thereabouts. So everybody cannot be happy. Everybody cannot play. You have a squad like 25 man squad. So how is everybody going to be happy? Not be 11 players in start, and then we change like maybe five players. So everybody, some people will stay on the bench. That one Ashola. Some will not even be invited in match day squad. So that one Ashola. When now so they move forward, everybody will participate. So may nobody complain anymore. Alright, for the media settings, they're going to ask Saliba, say, how, who, like, where are they getting inspiration from, you get, on how to become a better defender, like, where, who is teaching him? So, we're going to confess, I'm talk, saying they watch YouTube, I need to study the videos of Vincent Company of Manchester City, one of their legends, say, they watch the guy, they understand movement and all, and it is working for him, say, the guy, they give him mad inspiration. In fact, they're going to say making rates like the in best three top defenders of all time impose Vincent's company as number one with Ferdinand as number two then John Terry as number three because for him these are the guys who don't really do a lot for the EPL during their own career days okay? so for that reason now them they like they look up to but especially that Vincent's company so my dear Aston lovers no watch yesterday show check the top left corner of your screen to see Tom Dill click on so that you get the last now update as they drop all over the world so start you signing out enjoy the rest of your day Get out and happy Sunday.